the Octonauts and the Bowhead Whales. I can't believe we're back in these chilly waters again. It's all in the name of science, Quasi. Indeed, the creatures of the Arctic Zone make some fascinating sounds. And with the Octopod's underwater microphone, we can record them for our collection. Oh, what's making that sound? Oh, <laughs> just my tummy. <laughs> I ate some of Tunip's kelp cakes for lunch with a wee bit too much hot sauce. Wait, I'm picking up something else. Listen. Sounds like walruses to me. The computer will match the sound with the animal and we'll see if you're right, Captain. Ah, oh, walruses. Now let me guess the next one. Is a strange sound from a strange creature. And this strange creature could only be the... Herring? Yes, herring. They talk by blowing gas bubbles out of their behinds. Out of their behinds? Oh, what's that coming from? Sounds like some kind of whale song. It is. Bowhead whales. They only live here in the Arctic, so their sounds can't be recorded anywhere else. Look! Howdy, folks! Hello, we're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you! That's a humongous head, even for a whale. The head of each bowhead whale is as big as a bus. We're not aiming to brag now, but we bowheads do have the strongest, toughest heads in the Arctic. How tough? Tough enough to smash through just about anything. Yow! And we make some pretty big sounds, too. Ready, boys? I'm getting a perfect recording of them. Bowhead whales sing all the time while they're traveling, playing, even eating. It's how they talk to each other. It's always nice to make new friends out here on the Arctic range, but now we've got to hit the trail. It's feeding time. Come on, giddy up, partners. Bye. Bye. Adios. Bye-bye. Yeah, what's that? More whales? It sounds familiar. Narwhals, Captain. Sounds like a call for help. It is. Then we haven't got a moment to lose. Quasi, peso to the launch bay. It's coming from inside that ice tunnel. Shiver me whiskers, Captain. Look, there's been an avalanche. They must be somewhere behind all that ice. Ahoy in there! No walls! Are you all right? Help us, please! We are trapped in here! We can't get out! <gasps> I know that voice! Boris? Da! Barnacles? Is this you? Yes, old friend! What happened? Me and my two friends, we dove down very, very deep. Everything was good, yes? Until the pack ice moved and trapped us in here. The ice, it is too thick for a narwhal to punch through. <laughs> and we are almost out of air. Then we need to get you out of there now. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, three narwhals are trapped under the ice and they're running out of air. Jumping jellyfish. Narwhals are whales, and whales breathe air. They can only stay underwater for a little while, and then they need to come up to breathe again. We've got to get them out of the ice, but first, let's get them some air. We'll run a breathing tube down there right away, Cap. Octonauts, let's do this. <laughs> I 
I've found a small opening for the breathing tube. Here you go. We're pushing in a breathing tube, Boris. It won't be long now. Da, please hurry, old friend. We are feeling very weak. to breathe, it's time to break through that ice. Dashi, let's try the Gupsy's icebreaker. Icebreaker activated. Not even a crack. Let's bring in the drill. Tweak, we'll need the Gup D. All right, Cap. I'll have him out of there faster than you can say a munchy crunchy carrots. Novels, back away as far as you can. again. Let's call them back to the octopod by playing their songs. Try it louder, Dashy. We don't have much time. trapped in the ice and we can't break them free. Well, we bowheads are the greatest icebreakers in the seven seas. Ain't that right, boys? Yeah, that's right. right. You ready to take a ride, partner? Captain, help is on the way. Thanks, Dashie. How much longer? Look! Yes, 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 yes. Yeah. Boris, novels, everyone! My dear old friend, thanks to you and your Octonaut crew for saving us. And you two are mighty bowhead whale friends. Oh, shucks, Boris, we're nothing. Always glad to help the fellow whale in need. Yes, thank you, bowhead. It's amazing what you can do when you put your heads together. <laughs> Especially when you've got heads this big. Ain't that right, boys? Happy trails, partner. Going all up to the quasi quasi activate creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Creature report. Ah, 
bowhead whales are big. The Arctic swear they live. When they're sight they know just what to do. They use their heads to smash right through. Bowhead whales sing all day. That is what they do when they have something to say. Go bowheads, go bowheads, go bowheads. The Octonauts and the Damselfish. Fish to eat. Hello to Captain Barnacles. We found more sick coral on this side of the reef. Meet us back at the cup, Peso. Captain, I think there's a connection between the sick coral on the reef and those damselfish. Damselfish grow algae to eat, but when they don't let other fish eat it, there's too much algae. All that extra algae makes the reef sick. You see, Pete and his friends keep the algae from spreading too far. If they can just eat some of the extra algae, the sick coral reef will get better. Yes, but damselfish are very protective of the algae they grow. They'll never listen to other algae-eating fish like us. Don't worry. We'll talk to them for you. Excuse me. We'd like to talk to you damselfish about a problem on the coral reef. You got a problem? Talk to the boss. The boss? The one with the big spot on his face. Uh, a big spot? Sorry, I don't see a damselfish with a big spot. Oh, yes. 
damselfish can see colors we can't. If you want to see that big spot, you'll have to set your binoculars to damselfish vision. <laughs> what will Twig think of next? Ah, that's better. Aha, the spot. Excuse me, are you the boss? You bet I am. And keep off the algae. Right, um, we're the Octomorts, and we've discovered some trouble on this coral reef. Huh? There's no trouble for us damselfish. We're sitting pretty with more algae than we can eat. Ain't that right, boys? Right, boss! That is the trouble. Too much algae makes the coral reef sick. But you can save the coral reef if you'll just let some of the other fish eat some of the algae, too. Forget about it. This is my algae farm, and I don't ever leave it. Now, scram! Whoa, easy, Quasi. We'll scram. If the boss never leaves his algae farm, then he has no idea that the coral reef is sick. We need to get the boss off his farm. Why? But how? We're going to take his algae. Take his algae? I'll explain. Octonauts and algae eaters to the HQ. Octonauts, our mission is to save the coral reef. But first, we have to show the damselfish that the coral reef is sick. Here's the plan. We steal some algae from the damselfish and use it as bait to lead them to the sick coral. So the damselfish will see for themselves that the coral reef is in trouble. This algae is heavily guarded by the damselfish. Yes, and each damselfish has his own personal patch of algae. If we take some algae from the boss's personal patch, he's sure to chase after us. Aye, but look at all those patches. How do we know which one is his? Already on it, Quasi. Dashie and I have been working on the damselfish cam. It's a camera that looks just like a damselfish. I'll use it to slip past the guards and find the boss's algae patch. And of course, this camera has damselfish vision. The boss has one big spot on his head. Come on, show yourself. There he is, and there's his patch of algae. The boss is surrounded by all those damselfish. How do we get past them? Ah, that's where Pete, Sammy, and Robert come in. Now, each of you has a special skill you can use to distract the damselfish. Squirting sand? Speed? Oh, I'm thinking. Give me a minute. Uh, is it my spikes? Yes, Sammy, it's your spikes. While you keep all the other damselfish busy, Peso drops Quasi into the boss's algae patch. Then I take the algae, and we lead the boss to the sick patches of coral. All right, everybody. Operation Algae Lift begins now. Sammy, you're on. Hey, my, what the is that? Oh, my. This algae looks delicious. Got you. 
you right where we want you. Take a look. <laughs> here. And here. And here. And here. So the coral looks bad. What's it got to do with me? If you keep all the algae for yourself, the whole coral reef will disappear forever. Hold on. No more reef. No more algae. But it can get well again if we let the other fish eat the extra algae. Exactly. Oh, all right. You've got yourself a deal. Who's ready for a spicy algae burger? <laughs> Damn so fish grow algae farms. They defend their algae all harm. But when the algae grows too thick, it makes a coral reef quite sick. If other fish eat algae too, the coral reef gets well and grows back good as new. Go down the fish! Go down the fish! Go down the fish! Go down the fish. Go down the fish. Go down the fish.